my god. Um, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. It's been quite a long time. I don't even know how to begin this, um, to be honest with you. Today is, uh, May 16th. Let me, let me, like, square up and fuck. Today is May 16th. Um, usually this day for me is, uh, is, is kind of a tough day because, um, some of you guys know the passing of a close friend of mine, um, Tyreek Reeves. This day kind of, for the last, I guess you can say four years has really, I felt kind of haunted me. Yeah, usually this day kind of makes me feel like it's hard to celebrate my birthday, which is on the 17th. Um, but I don't know. I think this year in regards to everything that's been going on in my life, um, again, out of my own doing, right? Because I've messed up a lot of things this year. Y'all publicly know I've, uh, messed up things with Rose, so, single, yeah, roughly so, um, but, you know, those are things that you just have to, you know, you live and learn and grow from, um, the rule is not to, to make the same mistakes twice, the rule is to, to better yourself, to focus on your strengths, to, you know, it's, I, I hate when everybody just says, oh, be positive, Oh, be positive, positive, positive. Well, yes, but it's also okay, if that makes any sense, to to not be positive. It's not a weakness. It's not a weakness to cry. It's not a weakness to not be happy at times. It's, it's human nature. One thing that is important, though, is to always love yourself and appreciate yourself and understand who you are and what you love to do. And... Honestly, I've kind of faded away from what I love to do. I know YouTube is a YouTube is a huge part of my life, um, or at least it has been. Um, but I guess I haven't really shown enough appreciation to the people who supported me throughout the whole way. So I'm sorry for that. Um, but you know, I, I came in here with the mindset of wanting to be able to be open and honest and transparent about some things. Um, obviously, like I said, a good a good handful now of people know the details and everything that happened and, you know, where I went wrong. And I've had, I've heard critiques, I've heard criticisms, I've heard uh, tough love, I've had supportive love, I've had different points of views and perspectives, I've had people reach out, you know, asking about it. I've also had people reach out saying that, you know, there's some people saying I had a right to like, no, man, no, that's, I want to appreciate everybody who, whether it's critiqued, whether it's, you know, helped me kind of get through, and what I mean by that is, it's not relying on people, or, oh, like, pick me up, or, oh, like, no, people who actually critiqued me, and actually looked me dead in the eyes, and said, hey, it's time to get your crap together, or hey, it's time to make better decisions, or hey, is this what you want your life to be, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Those are the people I'm thinking the most because it's real. All right, moving on. Um, in regards to the plan for YouTube, yes, I still want to post. Um, I just I don't know. I've been so focused on work. I've been so focused on. I've been so focused on life just in general um the breakup happened you know in march so i've kind of just been on been in a really good headspace like i it's crazy to really think about you would think that i thought i would be struggling maybe i didn't i wasn't i didn't give myself enough credit of how sh mentally sh you know for you know you have to build some type of mental fortitude when it comes to things like this and I think the beauty of this is it's not about it's not about pushing it away or ignoring the feeling. It's about embracing the feeling and understand that, 
you know, understanding right from wrong, what you've done right from wrong. You can't let what other people say, I guess you could say in a way, affect you. Um, let the right words and let the right moments and let the right people in. Because, you know, those people, the people you surround yourself with, the relationships that you actually truly build are supposed to help mold you as a person or they're, ref they're like a reflection of you. One of the things I've been learning, like very... I've been kind of like opening up my social life. I'm not a very social person. I haven't normally been um, in my relationship. Like I said, I wasn't. I basically cut off all of my social life to, I don't even know why. I think I just cut it off subconsciously. I didn't, I didn't continue to, I guess you could say brand or, I didn't continue to help build relationships like or work on relationships outside of Rose and even then I messed up the relationship with Rose and so when I was like by myself I realized how much damage I caused. I don't want that to happen again. I don't. And relationships can be symbolic of YouTube. I've damaged my relationship with YouTube. And it's again it's it's nobody's fault but mine. I just it's just kind of reflection. I do a lot, guys, like it's kind of scary, right? Like the, the process, the journey. And you don't, because you don't know who's going to be on that other side with you. You don't know if you're going to end up where you want to be. Um, but I, I think there's just a part of me that's just going to will myself to, to where I want to be. And I've been, in these last two months, or this last, like, I'll say month. <sighs> this last month, I've been sharp. I've been like razor focused. I've been kind of planning this comeback as well because this is a relationship with you guys with with YouTube that I'm trying to rebuild. Um so there's that. Oh, uh, not to mention taking care of things financially, um taking care of myself financially, taking care of myself mentally and physically. Um not a big workout warrior, a big workout fiend, but I do keep myself in shape. I eat right. Uh, get plenty of sun. That's always things that are important. Um, I did want to, you know, leave a message to people out there. Um, I've had, everybody goes through forms of depression in different ways. And I just want to say that someone who's, I guess you can say formally battled it or still kind of to a degree battles it. I just wanted to say that what you're experiencing and the and the feeling and the pain that you experience is real and you shouldn't take it lightly and what I mean by that is I think you should take care of yourself if you feel like professional help is the way to go like for me therapy is a is a nice kind of branch to kind of you know grab on to but um, I, I think that it takes a combination of like plenty of things to kind of better yourself as a person and and grow spending time with family rebuilding relationships with family my I'm, I'm gonna be open about it my relationship with my mother hasn't been the best um for the last four or five years um and, and it's not like we're not around each other right we see each other every day but I've been trying to work on being more I guess you can say emotionally vulnerable because I put up a wall probably years ago and ever since then it's just been kind of hard to to let her kind of get through that wall if that makes any sense so I've been working on that um, my relationship's good communication good with my friends and family uh, Corey shout out to Copat my brother we work together um, Winston Co obviously that's my guy all my gaming friends that you see in all of my videos those are my guys. Uh, my cousin, Ricardo, does my hair as he's... I don't know if you can... Well, I, I haven't got my hair done yet. I don't know. I... I just think that the beauty of life is the journey that you kind of take, you know? And does it suck post-breakup? Of course. Do you feel bad? For everything that happened, of course. Do you do you miss the moments with somebody special? Of course. Of course. Um, you can't take things for granted, if that makes any sense. When you really think about it, two wrongs don't make a right. That's what I live by. 
and two wrongs don't make a right. That's all I'm gonna say. And I've tried to and I've tried to be more transparent throughout social media, um, but I just felt the only way I really get through to everybody is here because everybody sits around the campfire and watches me or listens to me or whatever the case may be. Um, so some of the hardest things in regards to some of the relationships built along the way, I've learned to, I've learned to accept it and kind of grow and move on. That's, that's, it's not that part. I always have love and appreciation for her, but it just, it's some of the relationships like kind of messed that up because I burned down the bridge between me and Rose. Um, obviously your mother as well and her family. Nobody's, I'm not expecting anybody to see this video or this video to reach any of them, but between me and you guys, especially as my audience, especially as growth, you know, moving forward. And I want to make sure that I'm transparent when it comes to everything and when it comes to, how do I say this? Oh my God, I cannot. I'm trying to be transparent when it comes to my wins and losses. See on YouTube, all you see is us doing well, getting views, succeeding, all this and all that. But I also want to be transparent when you lose. And this was a loss. Everything that happened with Rose was a loss. I don't want people defending me. I don't want people, you know, bashing them or talking bad about them. Did you take the punch on the chin? You learn from it. You grow. You better yourself. You know that's not the person you are or the person you strive to be. And that's the mindset I've had with, with everything. So, um, you know. I'm just, like I said, I'm really just blessed and grateful to um, to see another year, to be honest with you. Um, man, I, I am truly thankful for everybody who's had my back, who's kind of supported me and kind of, I guess you could say, corralled around me. Um, probably should have said gathered. Gathered probably sounded better. Corralled made it seem like you guys were animals. I'm sorry. Um, it's just life is so precious life is so short and you just never know you just never know so you, you have to pick and choose your moments and continue to you know smile through everything and get through it Um, I'm kind of venting in this video it's been 7 months oh my guys Oh my God, guys, I was doing taxes and they came back to me literally when I tell you that she was like questioning me because I was receiving royalty from like it was pay from YouTube. I've never received pay from YouTube like, dude, that's insane. And I don't even most of my videos don't even get monetized because of the music I choose or whatever the case may be. It was like a five second clip of one song and it just got claimed just like two weeks ago. And I, I was like, bro, th this video is two years old. Oh man, but it was just, it's just crazy to think about that. These are all like crazy moments, like surreal moments. I just, man, I just get blown away. I just get blown away. Um, so I need to do a better job of rebuilding this relationship too. Um, I need, and not taking things for granted. Um, not taking important people for granted. Um, it sucks that it's too late to to remind some people that they're important to me or how important they are to me. Um, you can't really rebuild anything until you rebuild yourself. And that's all I've been kind of doing. So, so actually, one more thing. Um, time to get a little bit serious here uh, in regards to what I mentioned earlier about appreciating moments you know and just never taking things for granted um someone who who used to watch my videos who commented on my videos before talked about his grandma talked about his grandparents um not being in the best health state and it was weighing on him um they they ended up both passing away but Recently, I've kind I've I've come to find out, and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep privacy. I'm not gonna bring up names or things like that. I'm sure the family doesn't want me to, you know, 
uh, bring up anything in regards to this situation or I don't I don't want to disturb anyone's privacy um, but I just wanted to take a moment to thank this kid because this kid um, would watch my videos and he would comment on them and he would be so supportive and he would say that my videos make it made his day and um, as of about I think two to three weeks ago he uh, he took his own life and uh, uh, it's, you know these type of events man I when these tragedies happen and you only get to a point like that when you feel like you're truly alone whether or not you have people around you or not you only get to a point like that when you feel like there's nobody who can really um, support you and be around you and tell you everything's going to be okay and this is very this is kind of tragic for me you know just for his family and I'm just sorry to hear that and I'm completely devastated and I'm sorry that I wasn't more aware and I wasn't more I guess you can say involved you know I would reply to his comments or I would read his comments I would spread positivity but you know obviously it's not fair to put any blame upon myself for someone else's decisions or whatever happens but you know I always try to um, I always think that I could help a situation by um, you know being positive or spreading more positivity or maybe reaching out more and I just feel bad for not reaching out enough so I wanted to apologize to the family for their loss and it's truly devastating and I'm glad that your son was able to to find my channel and even through everything that he was going through found a way to support me and I just feel like that's one of the most powerful things and you know in the world so um just you you just never know if you have a friend if you have a close friend if you have a a distant cousin if you have somebody you haven't spoken you know to in a while just please for the love of everything make sure you check in on them every once in a while you know because you just you just never know and for the people who are ever feeling that way or feeling that there's no one able to help you or no one able to understand what you're going through just know that you're not alone I'm here you can reach out to me I'm not a celebrity I'm dang sure not a celebrity you can reach out to me I'll answer I'll read it I'll answer I'll be there I'll be a shoulder that you need if you feel if you ever feel if you ever feel you're that to that point <sighs> with that being said I want you guys to be more appreciative of your loved ones and people that matter to you in life to be more appreciative of the moments that you get to spend with loved ones the moments that you get to spend whether it's traveling you know doing things that you love I want you guys to really soak it all in to just if you're ever feeling down if you're ever feeling like you're not good enough just always you know what take take you know what take a minute out your day go look in the mirror and say hey today's gonna be a better day or hey you look good today and people you know smile love yourself be okay in your own space I wish those were things that someone would have kind of, you know, told me or, you know, pushed me towards in regards to like during my relationship. You want to be okay in your own space. It's okay to be alone. You're not full, you're not truly alone. So you never are. You got me. DM me. Seriously. I, I got you.
if you ever feel that way. Um, <sighs> been your boy Rich, and uh, I know what you guys are probably going to ask, because I already know that there's going to be a few questions in regards to are you coming back, or when are you coming back, and what games, and whatever the case may be. And I know there have been a lot of people it's been like a, probably a good 10 to 12 people who have been like, hey, Jedi Survivor, and uh, finishing Fallen Order, finishing Kakarot. With that being said, I don't think I have that much more to say, to be honest with you. I thought this was going to be a longer video, but yeah, it's been your boy Rich. To be continued.